Well, I guess we better say goodbye. Since no one is around and I've waited... What? Hang on, let's have a look. 20 fucking minutes. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all appropriate ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Now, I'm going to be away for a week. I won't be back till... What day is it? The 8th of August. And before I get back to PSVR classics, are going to be put to rest. Their servers are going to be taken away. One of them being Spark VR. Which I tried to get some gameplay footage of this week, but no one's playing it. And I guess people just got bored of, like, either playing just basic or advanced or that experimental map. And they never added anything new after that. So this game was... I'm surprised, honestly, it took this long for the servers to die on this because... They could have done so much more with this game and they just never did. And player base died out. Inevitably. <sighs> I tell you what though. This was a fun VR sports game. This was so much fun. If... <laughs> Some of the matches that got super sweaty and super long. Jesus Christ. I'm going to be looking back at some of my Spark VR videos and just think about how mad it was back then when this came out and when people were still playing it. But yeah. Hey. But this game is inevitably inevitably being put to rest <sighs> on what I think August 5th so yeah I won't be around at that point in time so Spark VR you were a great game you're a great VR sports game I just wish they did more with you and you shall be missed goodbye And the other game we're saying goodbye to is Eve Valkyrie Warzone. Again, one of the first PSVR games to come out. Uh, ignore those stats because you don't need to 100% everything to get the trophies related to those specific things. Well, training, yes. Scout, no. Recall, yes. Survival, no. You've only got to reach wave 10 on one of the maps and I played this for quite a bit when it first came out and then I just kind of like left it for a bit and then it got a bunch of updates but unfortunately a trophy bugged for me so uh, the sting like a bee trophy to get a kill with each assault ship in any pvp battle mode I have recently come back this week, before I go on holiday, to play a bit more of this. And it's still bugged for me. So not only can I not get that trophy, it means I can't get the aerial assault trophy, which is to get a kill with all ships in any PvP battle. <sighs> but yeah, this was a fun space dogfight of a game. It really was. I mean, it had very nice maps. It controlled really well. It was nice graphically. It still is. No. Let's go to the hangar. A nice array of ships. With modifications and customizations, as well as your character. Hence why I look like a freak there. 
And it even became non-VR compatible as well, so you could play with other people that didn't have a VR headset. But yep, this is closing its doors on the 5th of August. Uh, look at performance. See how you stack up against fellow pilots. Eh. 30 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw. But a win-loss ratio of 0 0.95. Battles, 32. Highest score. Kills, 77. Most kills, 13. Death, 65. So I retire with a 1.18 KD ratio. With a highest KD ratio of 13. That was probably when I was very early in the game. Back when I had good reflexes. God, this was, what, six years ago this game came out. Jesus Christ. But yeah, there was no way for me to get the Platinum on this because of one trophy bug that never got fixed. And as I said, I did come back to try and play it and to see who else is still playing and see if I could get that trophy again. Uh, leaderboard's down. And there's no real good gameplay because the I'm not even going to try because I tried opening that reward capsule and it twice and it's just crashed the game both times. So I'm not even going to try for that. No one's playing Wormhole. No one really did after it, after like the first month of its release. But yeah. There's no real good gameplay because there's no one playing it. Every game I've had this week, and I've played it all day Friday. And just for a little bit on Saturday, there was only one person on the opposing team. The rest are just bots. So, yeah. No real good matches to show because it's just me against one other person and our bots doing most of the work. A facility anchored into the bedroom. <sighs> I hope people are going to be playing this just to try and finish off what they need to do before this game shuts in a week. Because it is a real fun game. But I might as well show you a little bit of what it looks like before I retire. Welcome, pilot. Begin systems check. Navigation systems online. Weapons online. Engines online. Fly safe. In a space fight, fly safe. <laughs> three. Look how the guns move with my head movement. That's what I liked about some of the ships in this. They have some cool Stand ass fucking to designs. Listen to the echoes of souls who inhabited these spaces before you. And now I'm invisible for 30 seconds. And it's got a nice little shade around it. And look, you can see past my feet. You can see the ground, you can see everything around me. Show what a charge shot does. When you get to take someone out with these, they are fun. And you boost. You got your break. Are in lawless lands, pilots. 
twisted, vibrant, beautiful, and alluring poison that will even corrupt what Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? If you find this, this, <laughs> this still feels close. freaky as hell even today, but cool at the same time. And you had Katie Sackhoff in this game. I mean, Jesus Christ, she was pretty much your boss, more or less. Or your squad leader, I should say. How cool was that? They got her on board in this. Volatile icy shards eroding an alien structure that blights the landscape. The noise kept me awake at first, but now I cannot sleep without it. I find some comfort in it. Break in the endless quiet. Oh, it is man. my only companion. We transferred here to do a job. I wish there was a way 16, for like Spark and what lies beneath the surface. this. Just because so many good memories of playing this game. I wish there was a way for them to. The I mean, look, there is like single player where it's just you versus AI so this game could still technically run just the multiplayer aspect would die but this would still be a fun game to play every now and then just to have a bit of a fight in space because I still think the gameplay in this is way more exciting I mean, Star Wars Squadrons was good, but I still, this still what do I know of the catacombs of solitude? is my favorite. Come closer, pilot, and see here. Some secrets just between me and you. There is a network of subterraneous caverns blasted into the calcified rocks, stretching out like fissures. <sighs> but yeah. Under the structure, steam rises from the vents scattered but, across the landscape. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Down there. Mechanical gateways cut into organic. And I'm going to say goodbye to this game upside down. Inviting glow for those. So long, Spark VR, and so long, E Valkyrie. Those who have been speak of its embracing. You are two of the best. Be you will be missed. That punctuates horizon.